successor to Mercedes-Benz's first small SUV, the GLK class, the GLC has become a core product of the luxury automaker's lineup and its bestseller. A new generation of the compact luxury SUV debuted for 2023. This year, Mercedes completes the GLC family with the addition of the range topping, 671 HP AMG GLC 63 SE performance. It'll compete with other high-performing SUVs including the BMW X3 and X4M, Tesla Model Y Performance, Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio, and Porsche Macan GTS. We're lucky enough to have driven the crown of the GLC lineup with some time behind the wheel of the GLC 63 SE Performance. Long name, we know. This powertrain is complex, maybe a little too much so considering BMW and Alfa Romeo have achieved similar performance with less power since each of those horses is motivating less mass. You also make compromises in cargo space, and don't expect to use this performance machine as a silent PHEV unless your commute is about 5 miles or less. Still, there's plenty to like here. The GLC 63 feels like a vaguely sporty luxury crossover in comfort mode it also rides surprisingly well but turn the drive mode dial to sport and it's a different beast. The growl of AMG's four-cylinder sounds appropriately burly for an engine so powerful, and boost from the rear motor helps deliver an exhilarating launch. We love the implementation of Mercedes 9-speed automatic, too which provides the response and quick shifts of a dual clutch without bad behavior at low speeds. Problem is, this is a vehicle best driven near its limits, and unless you're on a track or launching away from a stop, it doesn't feel as satisfying as some of its peers. This GLC 63 SE performance is drastically different from the AMG Mercedes gave us last generation. Compared to the old car's 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8, the 2025 model has half the cylinders and in some cases more than 200 additional horsepower. This is Mercedes-AMG's fourth e-performance vehicle, following versions of the S-Class, C-Class, and GT four-door. The combination of a plug-in hybrid system with a boosted four-cylinder is the same powertrain AMG used in the C63 SE performance, and it's even more complicated than it sounds, but it starts with the most powerful production i4 in the world which delivers a shocking 469 HP. The engineers in Affle Turbic added an electric turbocharger to eliminate lag, plus a big electric motor out back that can send 201 HP directly to the rear axle. Combined output, 671 HP and 752 lbft of torque. In a family SUV, the entry-level GLC 300 will likely move forward with its mild hybrid 2.0-liter turbocharged inline-4, a powertrain paired with a 9-speed automatic and RWD or 4-matic AWD. That setup is good for 255 HP and 295 lbft of torque and we've tested the base engine GLC reaching 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds. Even with the mild hybrid assistance, though, the GLC 300 formatic is rated at up to 2432 MPG City Highway 2024 model year figure. The lesser AMG variant, the GLC 43 gets a tamer version of what we've seen in the CLA 45 and GLA 45. That means buyers get a monstrously powerful turbo i4, in this case delivering 416 HP and 369 lbft of torque to all four wheels. The GLC 43 also includes a mild hybrid system with a belt-driven starter generator to reduce engine load. AMG claims 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. The current GLC's driver assists are notably more advanced than in the SUV that came before. Mercedes Adaptive Cruise System can react to stationary vehicles when traveling at higher speeds think someone broken down in traffic, and the lane centering function is improved with help from the crossover's 360-degree cameras. 
Plus, traffic sign recognition can now warn a driver against driving through a red light or stop sign. Automatic high beams, emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, rain sensing wipers, and rear cross traffic alert are standard. Mercedes Benz has some boundary pushing tech, too, in the form of its drive pilot system, which is capable of genuine SAE Level 3 autonomy with the car in full and total control, still needs monitoring. No word yet on whether this feature will make it to the brand's most popular model, but we anticipate if it doesn't arrive this year, we'll see it on the GLC in the coming years. The GLC class gets the same 11.9 inch portrait oriented infotainment touch screen as most Mercedes products and it includes wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster is standard, too, as is a Hey Mercedes digital assistant. Buyers can also use a fingerprint scanner to sync vehicle settings, and the assistant will recognize your voice. If your vehicle has the available 360-degree camera, there's even a setting in the off-road menu that can show you a real-time display of the road surface under the front of the SUV, giving the illusion of a transparent hood.